Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on normal distributions. Normal distributions are also referred to as a normal curve or a bell curve. Uh, both of these of course referring to the general shape of the distribution. It has a curve shape and also looks like a bell. Uh, it is believed that as we increase the number of observations or scores in our data set, uh, we might get closer and closer to this normal distribution. And this is uh, often the case in some variables such as height or weight, um, where if we recorded enough of those uh, variables, we of course will end up with something that looks like a normal distribution. Now there are some things to take into consideration when we're looking at a normal distribution or things to be aware of. One of those of course is the symmetry that we can see within our distribution. Symmetry refers to whether or not you can divide the data set down directly down the middle and both sides will look like mirror images of each other. So it will look like you pretty much have if it was on a piece of paper, if you folded it in half, uh, each side would look exactly the same. So if we took our distribution that we have here and divide it down the middle, so if we drew a line down the middle of our curve, you can see that on each side, so if we look at this side versus the other side, so the area above that line in our curve and that area below that line in the curve, we can see that they look exactly the same. Uh, so this means that our normal distribution is symmetrical. Uh, if one side looked different than the other, of course, that would lead us to assume that it is asymmetrical, which gets into the other different types of shapes and skewness that we can have within our distribution. Uh, of course, in a normal distribution, it is symmetrical, therefore it is also not skewed uh, in e either direction. Uh, some other things to take into consideration for our normal distribution is our measures of the central tendency. So our mean, median, and mode. For our normal distribution, these are all the same. So our mean, median, and mode are all equal. They occur at the same point. Now in our chart here, we can already see that the mean uh, has been uh, labeled. That of course is the center point of our data or the average point in our data. So our mean of course is occurring right here at this point. Now, our median, which is the midpoint of our data, is also at this point as well. In a normal distribution, 50% of our data will fall above and below the mean, which also means that the same number for the mean is also the median. It is the midpoint within our data set. So 50% of the scores are above, 50% of the scores are below. Now the mode is the number that occurs most frequently in our data set. And we can see here that it is at the same point as well. It is the highest point on our curve. So the mean, median, and mode are all exactly the same number in a normal distribution. They occur at the same point. You can see in our normal distribution image that I have here on the slide that the means, of course, have been labeled, but also the standard deviations. So you can see the standard deviations right here. So we have one standard deviation, two standard deviation, and three standard deviations above, and then the same below the mean. Something to remember about a normal distribution is the percentage of scores or points that lie within so many standard deviations of the mean. In a normal distribution, one standard deviation above and below the mean contains approximately 68% of our scores. So 68% of our uh, data set or our scores fall within one standard deviation above and below the mean. So we can see that here in our chart, if we take this dark blue area, everything within that area is approximately 68% of our data set. And that is one standard deviation above and below the mean. Moving out, one standard deviation. So now we're going two standard deviations above and below the mean. So not only are we containing this dark area here, we're also containing the light blue areas that are on the side. So this is a one more standard deviation. So we're going two standard deviations above, two standard deviations below the mean. So all of that area is approximately 95%. So that means that 95% of our scores fall within two standard deviations of the mean. Now taking this one step further, 
we can go three standard deviations below and three standard deviations above the mean to incorporate all of this area. So we would not only include the dark blue and the medium shade of blue, but also these smaller areas on the ends. So we would have everything within here. And that is approximately 99% almost 100% of our data falls within that. Of course, there's going to be a little bit that's going to be beyond that uh, in the tail ends of our distribution, but this gives you an idea of how many of the scores or the percentage of scores that fall within a certain area of our normal distribution. So between one standard deviation above and below the mean is 68% of our data. Two standard deviations above and below the mean contains 95% of our data. And then 99% is three standard deviations above and below the mean. Hopefully this gave you a good overview of the normal distribution and some of the basic concepts behind uh, how to describe the normal distribution and how to utilize it.